Hi guys, it's Joanny. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm heading down to Coney Island. It is the 4th of July here in the United States. And that means it's Independence Day. Everyone's off work, so everyone is having a good time drinking, barbecuing, going to the beach, and partying. I am just going to Coney Island to relax and hang out, enjoy the breeze, walk down the boardwalk, have some food and ice cream, and just enjoy the day. So if you are curious to see what the New York City beaches are looking like right now post-pandemic, keep watching. If you ever want to go to Coney Island, all you have to do is get on the D train going downtown Brooklyn and get off on the last stop, which is Stillwell, Coney Island. You can also take the F, the N, or the Q line, but I live closer to the D. Nathan's Hot Dog hosts the annual hot dog eating contest here in New York City. Um, I arrived too late and I missed it. It is the 4th of July and the beach is packed. I want to explore Coney Island. I haven't been here for quite some time and today was a beautiful day so it seemed like the perfect day to come down. So let's explore. If you're not from New York, Coney Island uh, has an amusement park which is located right across the street from the beach well right across the boardwalk from the beach Finally found a place that is somewhat quiet. Uh, the whole boardwalk is so loud. The whole boardwalk is so loud. There's music playing everywhere. Um, but it's a nice day outside. It's like 90 degrees. And people are just relaxing, drinking. Um, the Luna Park. Luna Park is currently closed due to COVID-19. One of the main rides in the park is the Cyclone, which is a wooden roller coaster that was built in 1927. When I first moved to New York City, I got on it and never again. I could hear all the wood shaking and it was terrifying. So if you're into roller coasters and you want to try an old wooden roller coaster, definitely check out the cyclone at Luna Park in Coney Island. Make sure to bring cash with you because a lot of the vendors don't take cards. There's always people selling uh, ice cream and drinks and stuff so just bring cash with you Although the amusement park is closed, there is plenty of restaurants on and off the boardwalk where you can eat, have a drink, relax, and hang out. The last time I came to Coney Island, I think it was like six years ago, I ran the Brooklyn Half Marathon and it ends on the boardwalk. So if you're ever trying to run or have a marathon, I suggest the Brooklyn half. It's a lot of fun. You run all of Brooklyn and you end up on Coney Island for a walk. 
thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a like and come back next week i post videos every week so i hope to see you next week until next time bye